Hello everyone, my name is Lydia Musimide, a retail unit manager with the EAP Old Mutual. Well, as the spread of COVID-19 dominates the world news, it has also highly caused worry, anxiety, and instability, and of course, a great threat in the existence of many businesses, while others are the strings of closing due to poor financial positions they are stuck in. Uh, this has also greatly affected the insurance industry, given the volumes of businesses uh, being brought in has also equally reduced compared to the previous months before the lockdown. And of course, this also possesses a very big threat, not only to the insurance industry, but also tickles down to our pockets as, as agents, as people in the field, in terms of reduced commissions. So during such times of crisis, the mind has become even more obsessive with thinking and of course feelings of fear on how corona spreads amid this lack of cure and isolation due to social distancing and of course being quarantined. So when your mind gets stuck in such a state, fear begins to narrow your field of vision and it becomes harder for you and me to, to see the bigger picture and the positive possibilities around us. So. This therefore brings us to our topic of discussion tonight on how to build resilience in the face of crisis like COVID-19. But I will need to, to first elaborate more about what we mean by resilience. And uh, here resilience is a process of uh, adopting in the face of adversity, trauma, and also other significant sources of stress. It may also be referred to as a bouncing back or recovering quickly. So this gives the people psychological strength to cope up with stress and hardship in the and in the strength that keeps you and me moving, moving forward of course in times of fear without falling apart. So I'll give this uh, memorable act about resilience and I'll put it on, on two people who love football. I will recall one of the greatest comebacks uh, was the thrashing of, of uh, PSG by Barcelona 6-1 in the Champions League, second leg after losing the first leg to PSG by 4-0. And also the Arsenal lovers, the great Arsenal uh, Invisibles team coming from three goals down at home to win a 5-1 away against the Inter Milan, and that was in 2003. So. We can talk a lot about resilience, but of course, basing from the above explanations, we can now build resilience through this uh, uh, COVID-19 era through the following. And one, we must calm our minds down. And to this, we, we must begin thinking on about positive ideas. Uh, by calming our minds down, we need to leave the things that are disturbing us, the things relating to Corona, uh, a COVID that is disturbing us, bringing us stress here and there. And through this, uh, I'm going to explain to you how we need to calm our minds down very well by coping with stress. So we need to deep breathe. Deep breathing, here I mean breathing in and out, in and out when you feel you're in panic, when you feel a lot of discomfort, because breathing in and out, of course, helps us, our nervous system, to function properly. Then second, I also talk about meditation. I mean the me time, why you need to sit alone in a comfortable place, think and relax your mind, and of course, through doing this, it increases the concentration uh, on a particular action. Then maybe we need to talk about also exercise. Exercise also relaxes the mind and of course makes you fresh for the next day's work. Uh, the second after the coming, the mind also need to talk about establishing connections. Uh, all human beings, we need connections. Uh, connections, we need it in, in, of course, times like this where we, we are in a crisis, we are having challenges, we need a network of empathetic and passionate people like what the government is doing or what other companies are doing or what AP Old Mitch also did by giving 100 million. They were also supporting the people out there who were affected by COVID-19. And so that is how one can be empathetic and passionate about people that were affected by EAP. So third, we need also to adjust on our thought of process. We need to always think positively. Let us not search for the bad news all the time. Also, we need to look at 
how many people have also recovered. Not only all the time thinking up about how many people are dying. We also need to thank God that even here in Uganda, we do not have to record any death. So we need to think that way that COVID came, but also COVID will go. So we need to minimize and see how to cope up with the situations alongside the COVID-19. So we need also to focus on the physical wellness. We need to sleep well. We need to, you know, sleeping well, of course, keeps our mind, uh, our body fresh, that we need to think and continue working for the next day. Then we also need to eat healthy food. We need to eat healthy food mixed with fruits, vegetables, proteins, still that part of to make our mind so fresh and of course thinking and planning for another day, another day activity. So also need to maintain hydration. Here I mean taking plenty of water, plenty of fruits to, 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 to keep healthy. Then last day we need to remain active. Walk around, jog, increases your, 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 your blood flow and of course keeps you fresh. And also remaining active in our line of businesses. We keep in contact with our clients, call our clients, help our clients, give them calls of comfort, means of comfort, and through this we shall maintain resilience as individuals and as company at large. So in conclusion with the above, our minds will expand, we shall ask for referrals from the clients, our eyes will open to see the new opportunities in the, in the time of crisis, and therefore we need to bounce back into action by devising ways of carrying our businesses. Thank you.